Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a spin-off of the pancakes from Eat Like a Gilmore Cookbook. And we're gonna do the pumpkin pancakes as shown at Luke's Diner. This is very similar to the other pancake recipe, except for of course a few different ingredients and some flavor that's gonna be inside the pancake. I think it sounds delicious and right now is the Monday before Thanksgiving so I think this is the perfect time to make this recipe. So let's get to it. So as you know I like to finish by putting all the batter into my big mixing bowl so that's easier to pour onto the pan. But we're gonna start with the dry ingredients in here first. Okay we need to start with two cups of flour. I need one teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons of baking powder. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Looks like I'm just about out. About a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I grate my whole, so it's going to be a little bit less, but you kind of got to eyeball it at this point. It smells delicious, by the way half a teaspoon of cloves and a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, we're going to blend that together a little bit. Alright, we're going to put that to the side and start on our liquid. Here is one egg. One and a half cups of buttermilk. Three tablespoons of brown sugar. And one teaspoon of vanilla. We're going to whisk this part together. Make sure the brown sugar blends with everything. Okay, we're going to put the dry in with the wet, whisk it. Remember if you want fluffier pancakes, add more. If you want thinner pancakes, add less of the dry ingredients. I'm going to just see what this recipe makes. Don't forget the pumpkin 
we'll add some moisture to it as well. It just smells really, really good. Okay, now we're going to add the pumpkin. It's one and one third cup of pumpkin. It's not quite a whole can, so I had to measure it out. Now we're going to whisk that together. That's where we're going to get her. Beautiful orange color. Yes, look at that. Then it also calls for two tablespoons of melted butter. Let's just side for a sec. Whisk all of that together. And we have our pumpkin batter. It's gorgeous. There it is. My stove runs hot, so I don't make it medium high. I make it closer to medium low. I got my cat spatula ready to flip. I sprayed my pan with some canola oil. It says to use two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So much easier to spray a pan, so that's what I did. All right, let's start with the first one. It's been heating up for a while, so. This recipe actually says to use about half a cup per pancake. It smells so good. It smells really good. Now we wait. Still not quite bubbling. Turn the heat up just a little bit just to see if that helps. Some tiny bubbles coming on in the middle there. Just gonna wait a few more seconds and then flip it. Some thick batter. Right. Oh, that looks beautiful. Look at that beautiful orange brown glow. Oh my goodness, it looks fantastic. Oh man, it smells really good too. I know y'all wish you could smell it. You can smell it, just make some for yourself. I didn't make this one way too big. Next one I gotta make smaller so that it cooks a little faster. Okay, look at that. Perfect. I'm gonna start another one, but I'm gonna try. Flatten it out. Let it cook. Okay, I'm ready to try this. It looks delicious. I'm gonna take a bite of it plain just because I want to know what the actual flavor is, but then I'm gonna try it with my maple syrup. Mmm. Very good, not sweet at all, so definitely needs the syrup. I bet it would be good if you just put pumpkin pie spice in it too to cover the equation of how many spices are in here. This is so good though, it's so, so good. Let's try it with the syrup. Okay, I put some syrup on it. I don't like to have a lot of syrup on my pancakes in general. Oh, that's perfect. If you're looking for something to serve your family on Thanksgiving morning, I highly suggest go for pumpkin pancakes since this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. And they were really easy, so I won't take you any time at all to treat your family. Thanks for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I would really appreciate it if you give me a like. And don't forget to subscribe because I have more fun things up my sleeves. Y'all have a great day. Bye!